Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a continuation of our whole Aphrodite series. Um, I wanted to make one small correction. Somebody brought to my attention that consort actually means husband or wife and not just uh, lover, <laughs> which is what my interpretation was, was a paramour or a lover. So my list of Aphrodite's consorts should have been Aphrodite's lovers, not husbands. So the only husband she had was Hephaestus. So that was a painting we did yesterday. Today we are going to be talking about Adonis. So Adonis has a very interesting backstory. Um, there was a king of Cyprus and he had a daughter named Mira or Mura and um, she was very chaste and did not want to embrace her more feminine kind of growing into a woman side of love and beauty and romance and passion and Aphrodite got mad at her. So <laughs> Aphrodite cursed her to be in lust with her own father, which is kind of messed up. And anyway, Mira somehow arranged things so that she was alone in a dark cave with her father, the King of Cyprus for a while before he actually saw her face. So when that encounter ended, he sort of saw her and then he chased her off with a sword and she was pregnant <laughs> with Adonis. And I think the gods turned her into a tree, a myrrh tree, <laughs> to save her life. Um, so as a tree, she gave birth to this baby Adonis. <laughs> Such a crazy story. And um, Aphrodite came and took the baby. So Aphrodite took the baby Adonis to Persephone in the underworld. And she helped raise him. And But he grew up to be a very handsome, good-looking young man. And Aphrodite wanted him and Persephone wanted him and they were fighting over who was going to have him, I think to be his mother, I hope. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> ah, <shh. laughs> These gods, they were kind of crazy, man. So anyway, um, the legend goes that the gods said that Adonis would spend one third of the year with Persephone and one third of the year with Aphrodite. And then he could choose who he wanted to spend the remaining third with. And I think it was Aphrodite that he chose. Anyway, so I thought that was a very interesting story how this young man's life was sort of intertwined with these two women and this craziness as his backstory. And I sort of, with the Persephone, I remember the pomegranate and the underworld and the three pomegranate seeds. So I really wanted to use a crimson color. And this is quinacridone crimson that we're gonna be using in that part of the pour. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have, I have two canvases, 18 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvases, and I'm going to put down a black base coat and then I'm going to prepare two different cups, one for Aphrodite and one for Persephone. So let me show you the Aphrodite palette first. So these are a continuation of the same colors I've been using with that copper and the turquoise and the satin enamels and the gold. Um, yesterday with Hephaestus, I added, um, this is Pergare silver from Chroma Molten Metals. It's actually a really, really cool color and it came out beautiful in that painting. This one is Prussian Blue from Goldens and this is Prussian Blue with a little bit of that Pergari Silver in it. So it's kind of a sparkly blue. I have my Copper from Goldens. Great color. And these are all left over from the pour yesterday. And Goldens Deep Turquoise. So it's still a little bit thick leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? Okay. So then what else do we have? We have white satin enamels from Deco Art Americana. And this has a little bit of their paint and primer house paint mixed in with it. It feels thick to me, but when I drizzle it off the stick, it leaves a little mound on a mound on a mound, and it leaves a trace that lasts for about a second or two. So it's actually perfect consistency. So that's that one, my Deco Art 24 karat gold. Metallics, mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, we showed you the quinacridone crimson. Beautiful color. This is very similar to Arteza's Bordeaux red. So if you can't find the goldens, check out Arteza's Bordeaux red. Then I have Artist's Loft Flow Acrylic in black amazing color. I actually really love this paint. I mean, it's so silky and so smooth. And the minute you mix it with the pouring medium, it's just, it's like a dream. It's just lovely, lovely stuff. So my pouring medium is Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, the paint, Floetrol, 
and a tiny bit of water where it was needed. Uh, there's only one other color I haven't told you about yet, and that is actually Artist's Loft, also flow acrylic in gold. So I may or may not use this depending on what we've got going on. But let's go ahead and get our first cup layered. This is going to be the Aphrodite side, which is going to be more greens and blues and the turquoise and the copper, like what we've been doing. And the other side is going to be reds and gold and copper and black. So they're both going to be on a black base coat. So I'm going to layer my cups first, then I'm going to put down my base coat, then I'm going to pour the cup. Okay, so Aphrodite side. I'm going to leave those there, keep it from getting messy. Okay, so we're going to have a black base coat. Let's start with a little bit of turquoise. And we're going to do that same wandering straight pour across the canvas and then spread it out, leaving some negative space. So I have my turquoise in there. I'm going to put a little bit of silver in. Oops. Just a touch of white. I'm going to go for that metallic... Prussian blue and a little bit of gold. I'm okay with putting the gold next to the blue this one because I don't mind a little bit more green than this one since this is sort of like a above earth and under earth <laughs> thing going on. Okay, now we're going to put some copper in there. A little bit of white. So these are nine ounce cups. So for an 18 by 24 canvas, you would normally use about 15 ounces of paint. So since I'm using a base coat and I'm only going to use 9 ounces of paint to spread it out, we should have some negative space. So I just put in turquoise. I'm going to go back to some silver. And I'm actually going to put some black in this now. And then let's go back to copper. And then another little tiny bit of black. So maybe that copper will sort of be floating. Okay, so that's our Aphrodite cup. We're going to put that one there. Now let's layer our other one for the Persephone side, which is going to be more red and gold and copper. Okay. okay. I'm going to add some of the blue maybe also. Maybe some white. Okay, <clears throat> so with this one, I'm going to start with a little bit of black at the bottom of the cup first. And then let's get right into the copper. Just put that down so you can see it easily. Okay, so we've got our copper. I'm going to put this um, quinacridone crimson in now. And some gold. Another layer of black. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go with the Prussian blue again. And then a little bit of copper. I think that's it for that part. Okay. Put that one there. Put that one there. And now we're going to lay down our base coat. So these two cups are Artist Law Flow Acrylic in black, mixed the same as that with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, but there's more Floetrol in this one, so it's a little thinner than all of those paints. So we're going to go ahead and pour this as a base coat. So the one we did yesterday, Hevestus, was so cool. It had this black base coat and these areas where you could just, it was just nice, solid black. It was so, it came out so cool. I'm really excited to show you guys that one. Hopefully it'll be dry tomorrow and we can shoot our outro, and then you can see. Okay. So there is kind of a lot of paint on here. I don't really want to tilt it off because it's gonna help us 
of our paint slide around easy. Okay, let's do it this way. Which one should we do first? Persephone? I want to do Persephone first. Okay. Okay, here we go. So that's cool. Let's give that a second to it's starting to sell up beautifully over here. You might want to put a little bit more paint in the cup just to go down that way a bit. We did only have about seven eight ounces in there. I'm just gonna start right in here. That's better. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this black that we have left over. Just like over here. So I love what's happening in here. I want to stretch this out. Okay, so I love this part. I love this part. Not so crazy about this part, but it's going to dry neat, and that sort of gives it a very underworld, <laughs> Hades sort of feeling. I love that black corner up there. I'll wipe my hands off one more time. But the only thing that I might want to do is stretch this out a little bit, either this way or that way off a little bit. I love this. This is amazing. Get it. I just landed in my paint. Okay, I'm going to go off that way just a touch. And I'm going to do just a little bit towards me. Well, I don't know if we should take that off now. It's kind of cool. Look. Stretch it back out down that way. And open it up a little bit. There's still a lot of paint on the bottom. I'm going to take some of that bottom edge off because it's moving really easy. Okay, 
it. That's neat. Pretty. Okay. That's so cool in there. All right, we're gonna stop there with this one. So this is Adonis with Persephone. <laughs> I realize we're getting a little silly here, but bear with me. <laughs> and let's pour the other one right now. Now we're gonna do Aphrodite with Adonis. Hello, Zen. You stopped arguing with your friend. Zen is having territory wars with a neighbor's cat <laughs> who likes to come over and visit. He's such a friendly little guy, too. It's great. Hi, baby. That's very cool. I like that a lot. See, it's still moving. I could definitely take more paint off of here, but I really like what's happening, and I don't want to. And there's not that much on here right now, so it'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to move this one out of the way. Over there. And I'm going to show you how I scrape off my table. Use my spatula. Scrape it all into a little puddle like that near the edge of the table. You get an empty cup, put that near the lid, scrape it in a little bit at a time. And I use these drips all the time. I use them as background colors, as base coat, especially something that has black and metallics in it because it turns out really, really pretty. Especially this one. This one's going to be beautiful because it's kind of got that crimson in there also. So it will have like a really kind of black cherry color and keep that for later. Okay. I'm going to wipe my hands off and we will get the other canvas and put down our base coat. So that was Persephone. That's really pretty. I love how that the gold cells are popping through the crimson there. It kind of reminds me of the pomegranate seeds. Let's lay down our base coat. I put two sticks in things that are different so I would know that these were more Floetrol than those. So those are used with one stick in my cup. These are my base coat. I do wonder, I didn't, I'd never previously thought of Aphrodite as vengeful, and the fact that she would curse Myrrh <laughs> surprised me. I didn't think of her as that kind of goddess, but I guess she was punishing her for overlooking her blossoming womanhood. As my 14-year-old daughter would say, spicy. <laughs> she really likes mythology too. A little bit off of this side, and then I think we're okay. It's not moving fast at all, which means there's not too much paint on there. So I'm not going to stress it. Okay. Okay. My hands. Slow. Breathe. Okay, so this one is the Aphrodite portion. And I don't know if you recall, but when I was layering the cup, I put down a big layer of black, and then a layer of copper, and then another layer of black. So it should sort of be an interesting coppery effect here. Right. Okay, that's cool. This is pretty. So that's that sort of very ghosty that's where I did the big layer of black and then a layer of copper and then another layer of black. I love this part where it's stretched into the turquoise. And look at these pretty gold cells. Yay. Okay. So we're going to take it that way a little bit to just cover that corner just a little bit more. And I'm just going to sort of walk it down, spreading the paint out. And let it go down off that corner. Come back this way towards you. And spread this side out. Look how pretty that is.
and this is stretching all that black out and it's opening up there's some beautiful little cells popping up little turquoise ones I don't mind leaving that corner black but you see there's a wave that just is falling I'm just gonna let it go down a little bit. This is really neat. I like that big huge splash of copper. <laughs> I guess the copper is sort of is Aphrodite in this series. So these two are Adonis. I will show you them both right next to each other. That's pretty cool, though. And since we've stretched this out, this is all going to start to sell. Now, that Pergari silver that we used next to the blues and the turquoise, when I did the Hephaestus one yesterday, it sold up so pretty. All these beautiful cloudy pebble cells. It was really, really gorgeous. So that's it for this one. See how this is starting to sell up more? This is awesome. And there's a, I'm going to torch this one because I think it is going to have a whole bunch of cells pop up. Okay. All right. I like this though. I don't know. There's something. There's this haze of that perlane silver over the copper, which is kind of neat. But these cells are really pretty. Can you get like close? Get in there and look at those. Kind of this gasoline quality. I don't know about this thing. But I like it overall. I don't want to mess with it anymore. It kind of feels like it's done. So let's look at the two of them next to each other. So there you go, that's Persephone, and this is Aphrodite, and this is Adonis. Adonis is poor. <laughs> you see a little tiny leaf. There we go. Alright, so that's it for these two. I will show you when they are dry. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Okay, so this is a few days later. And this one is the Aphrodite, poor of Adonis. <laughs> I like how this one turned out. It's really, really cool. You can see all that copper in there, blinging, and the gold. Really, really beautiful little cells in here. Really, really cool. I don't know if you can see how they're sparkling. And look at those cool gold ones right in the middle of that copper. It's so awesome. I like these. These are really neat. Where are they? Right here. These ones. Really pretty. There's like silver and blue on the inside and then there's this ring of gold around them. I don't know if you can see that whole haze of silver. That's the Pergari silver on top of blue and on top of copper and on top of gold. Pretty trippy stuff. This turned out really neat. I really like that. I love this copper section in here. That's so cool. I can of see a face right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like how this one turned out a lot. So this is the Aphrodite one, and I will go get the Persephone one. Okay, so this one is the Persephone pour for our Adonis series. I love how this turned out. So many beautiful gold cells in there. Some gorgeous, gorgeous detail. There's copper and gold together. It's just incredible. Those beautiful, beautiful gold cells on that black background is amazing. You can see the bling right there. So cool. Very pretty. 
copper and the sun is just amazing. I love that seam, like a rip through time almost. Very cool, that's the quinacridone crimson on top of the copper. And you see all these little gold cells, are just so pretty. On top of the red. And then over here, these are amazing. That perfect gold ring around them. <laughs> There's that flamey part up in the corner. Very cool. Feels like there's a lot of emotion in this one, a lot of stuff going on. But there's also, you know, little gold bubbles rising, going upward, which always gives me hope. I love the colors on this piece though. Really, really amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you'd like to see some more of my stuff, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. Or you can check out my Etsy shop. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to be a patron of the arts, there is a link in the description box for a PayPal me. Your donations are greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much. This has been awesome. I hope you guys have been enjoying my Aphrodite series and all the little stories and everything. We've got some really cool ones coming up for you. Aries is next. That one is so cool. I can't wait to show you. I will see you guys for the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.